Hey everybody, welcome back to ConductorPlugin.com. In today's tutorial, I want to talk about the most requested feature that we have, and that is to show content to only logged in users, and specifically with our Gravity Forms and Ninja Forms add-ons. Folks are constantly asking, hey, how can I show this stuff in a table, but I only want to show those uh, form submissions to people who are logged into my website, administrators, managers, whatever it might be. Uh, Conductor, we don't have any of those options out of the box, right? We really want to focus on being great at content blocks and helping you display content. So we uh, really rely on other plugins for hiding or user management or membership, that kind of thing. The easiest plugin to use for this situation is a plugin called Hide This. And it uses a simple short code. I'm gonna show you how to use that in today's video. But if you wanted to go beyond this, depending on what you needed for your website, you might need a membership plugin uh, or some kind of user profile plugin. And you can search for those. The concept uh, still works. Uh, regardless of what uh, plugin you might choose. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Hide this plugin using a shortcode. Let's dive right into it. Okay, so on this page, I already have my conductor query shortcode dropped into the page. And if we take a look at this page, this is an, an example of showing gravity form submissions or entries in a table. Um, there are other videos if you wanna check that out. Hopefully I can link that up in this video. But I wanna show you how to hide this. So I'm gonna go ahead, we have already had that plugin installed and activated and it just uses a simple shortcode. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. I'm gonna wrap this with the hide shortcode and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page. And you'll see that it hides it uh, indefinitely. Even though I am logged in and an admin to this site, I can't see it because by default, the hide tag or short code, excuse me, will hide it uh, for good, right? Either logged in or not logged in, that kind of thing. But if we hop on over to the plugin page for hide this, you can see we can extend this stuff. We can do this for people who are not logged in and people who are logged in. Uh, so let's take a look at that example. So I'm gonna use this first example right here, and this is gonna show this um, content for people who are logged into the website, but not for people who are uh, not logged in. So let's go ahead and go for equals logged, close that. I will, whoops, forgot an excellent uh, quote there. Uh, let's go ahead and hit update. And we will refresh this page and you can see our table is back uh, and I am logged in. If I hop on over to the uh, incognito window, let me pull that up. I go weekend WP gravity and you can see right here, look, the person who is logged out of the site uh, does not see that table. Okay. So that is the simplest way <laughs> to uh, lock out anybody who's not logged into the site. And with this plugin, you can uh, even drill down. If you have different user roles that people are logged into, you can specify those here with editor, comma, contributor, and so on and so forth. So you can really play with that and match it up. But one quick little tip, if you wanted this page to give somebody some direction to log in, let's say, so let's just say this is a common um, thing where people come to this page every, you know, every day or whatever, or at least once a week, that kind of thing. Um, but they're not really WordPress familiar or savvy. They don't really remember how to log into your website. You could put a little uh, message here to log in uh, that is not seen while somebody is logged in. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We can go hide for equals logged. I always forget the quote, so let's go logged. And then we'll just say login by clicking here. And then we'll close this uh, hide short code. And just to make it, we'll just do weekendwp.com slash login. And that'll be our login link. I will now hit update. And let's just take a look at it from a logged in user's perspective. I'm going to refresh this page and look, there, that message is not there, right? This short code is saying, hey, we're going to hide this for logged in people. And if you're logged in, you're not going to see this little link right here. But if we switch over to our incognito window and refresh this, boom, you can see right here, log in by clicking here and then somebody can click that and then log into this website, which will then give them access uh, by because because they'll be logged in for uh, first and foremost, and then they can come over to this page and see these user form submissions. So that's how you can uh, show or hide uh, contact forms or custom post type fields or whatever it is you're building as a display with Conductor Plugin. Uh, it's conductorplugin.com. Check it out. You have any questions, conductorplugin.com slash contact. We'll see you in the next video.